My name is Fatia Abubakar. I'm a photographer from Nigeria and I'm currently studying for an MFA in Experimental and Documentary Arts. I'm here in Accra, Ghana to create a photo series for the Kala campaign and I'm part of a team of incredibly intelligent women. After I started a master's degree in public health, I was introduced to using social media for health and I was fascinated by how you can use imagery to highlight communities that have a lot of stories that are untold. Because I studied to be a nurse, I think my main priority is photographing in a style that, is, that has a lot of empathy. My focus is generally how to humanize the subject and how to ensure that you photograph with dignity. The interpersonal skills I've learned as a nurse are to approach the patient calmly. You are the comforter, you are the person who ensures that they are at ease. So for me, calmly approaching every situation is one thing that I've learned from medical college and I think even going into photojournalism because you go into a lot of unpredictable situations, I think it's crucial for me to calmly enter whatever location or situation to make sure that whoever I'm interviewing is at ease and is able to speak to me with trust. I feel like nurses are superheroes, just medical professionals generally are superheroes. So coming here and seeing the way they work and how they're able to teach women about reproductive health and just generally taking care of the community was so beautiful for me. I was inspired to do more, to highlight their stories. I have a lot of respect for the nurses and the doctors and generally the health professionals here in Ghana. They are up against religious, cultural, infrastructural obstacles, but despite all of that, they're very, very willing to ensure that women know about their bodies and also seek adequate health care. The health systems generally in West Africa, because that's where my experience lies, is that um, we have a lot of infrastructural issues. It's a very difficult location to work in. The hours are very long. There's not enough staff in medical facilities. There's usually a difficult terrain if you're going to rural areas. And also we have barriers to educating people. We need to have all hands on deck. The technology and the imaging is what I'm so impressed with. In just under a few minutes, you can see what your cervix looks like. Time is of the essence in medical fields, so for me, the time it reduces and the ability of the patient to see instantly what is going on in their body, for me, is very profound. The camera also is similar because with the camera you're able to see what is happening in societies. Imagery is very powerful and whatever story you capture enlightens communities and it makes, makes us see ourselves differently and we are able to identify what the problems are in communities so that we can find solutions to those problems. So I see them working simultaneously as instruments that help us see ourselves and find ways to help ourselves after seeing ourselves. In such a visual generation, it's difficult to have people 
read in medical terms and to talk about things in communities in that kind of scientific lens. So doing a documentary for the color campaign I think helps break down those barriers. People have a visual representation of what is happening with the campaign and they're able to see the step-by-step -step process that it takes to reach such a goal, to, to, to do clinical studies, to reach communities, to convince health professionals, to show health professionals, to get their feedback on, uh, on the device. So uh, taking a viewer from the beginning till the end of creating an innovation, I think it's crucial for the community to see. I love that I can watch a documentary about someone doing something for their community. I feel it's very inspirational and it's something that can motivate more people in the sciences to decide and say, I want to do something for my community. The story of Mercy and the Center for Global Women's Health Technology is one that more and more audiences need to see so that we can um, motivate young people and tell them to go into the sciences so that they can create more innovations that will help societies. To be honest, I'm really excited for the color scope to be available to every single community across West Africa and generally in Africa, especially in Nigeria. I'm really excited to actually tell people about the color scope. Seeing my own cervix yesterday made me feel like I want to tell more women about this device so that they can also know what is happening. So I'm um, incredibly eager to see that it reaches every single community. The idea is that she could go to a community health center near her home and get all of the services she needs. Okay, what your child needs.